Welcome to Hari's Hobbies, the channel where we discuss the latest tech news and delve into newest tech products. Today, we're taking a look at DDR5 RAM and where it is and should you wait for it. But before we delve into that, make sure to hit that subscribe button if you guys would like to stay updated with the latest tech news related to gaming and PCs. So, let's start off by covering the rumors that we have so far. The biggest rumor by far that we have so far is that DDR5 RAM will be twice the speed of DDR4 RAM. JDEC claims that they have already started working on the DDR5 standard and that it will support double the bandwidth and density of DDR4 RAM and that is supposed to allow it to have greater power efficiency as well. It is also rumored that DDR5 DIMMs will have double the capacity of DDR4 DIMMs. So we may see that uh, DDR5 16GB sticks will become more popular than what DDR4 16GB kits are right now. And the go-to configuration may be 32GB of DDR5 RAM, but DDR5 RAM is going to be more expensive and the RAM situation right now is already bad, so we probably won't see that become popular for a couple of years still. And the last rumor is that DDR5 RAM will come out at the end of 2018, however, unfortunately, that rumor is a little bit misleading. DDR5 RAM may be standardized at the end of this year, but you won't be able to get your hands on it until 2019 or 2020. DDR4 RAM is still in its mid-cycle really. It only hit the mainstream platform 4 years ago, and if you look behind that, DDR3 RAM came all the way out in 2007, so that was a 7 year life cycle. And before that, DDR2 RAM came out in 2003, so that had a 4 year life cycle, and the original DDR RAM came out in 2000, which means that it had a 3 year life cycle. So as you guys can see, the life cycles have been progressively getting bigger because technology isn't advancing as quickly. That doesn't necessarily mean that the DDR4 RAM lifecycle will be more than 7 years, but there definitely is no rush to implement DDR5 for any manufacturers, and so it definitely will take some time. The main issue with this is that it takes a while for new RAM standards to be widely implemented. For example, it took 2 years after DDR4 RAM came out for it to be widely implemented into computers. This is because new RAM iterations are generally not forwards or backwards compatible. And as a result, we have to wait for AMD and Intel to make new chipsets that support the new standard of RAM. AMD usually comes out with new chipsets in March with their Ryzen series and during the summer with their Threadripper series. And Intel usually comes out with new chipsets at the end of the year in the fall with their mainstream platform or during the summer with their enthusiast line. So the earliest implementation of DDR5 RAM that we may see it's in the March of 2019, and that's only for Ryzen, really. And Intel's mainstream platform won't support DDR5 RAM probably until the end of next year. And as a result, DDR5 RAM won't become popular until 2020, even if it is standardized at the end of this year. For example, it's been four years since DDR4 RAM came out, but most Macs still use LPDDR3 RAM. As a result, it's definitely gonna take time and many manufacturers may be a bit reluctant to implement the new standard for a variety of reasons. Overall, DDR5 RAM may be released at the end of this year, but you won't even be able to use it until at least the March of 2019. And on top of that, you're the pioneer of this new DDR5 RAM, and as a result, you're going to have to face all the bugs and issues that come along with new technology. Also, for real-world performance, Make sure to keep in mind that this is not going to really improve your experience that much. Windows and most apps are still going to be identical, and in games you may get 10 to 20 more FPS, and the main place that DDR5 RAM will shine is RAM hungry apps like Premiere Pro and After Effects, but for the vast majority of people, it really won't make that much of a difference. So should you wait? Well honestly, it's quite a long wait, and I think the only reason you wouldn't just go ahead and buy DDR4 RAM right now is if you really don't need an upgrade. Also, I highly doubt that DDR5 RAM will be supported by current generation motherboards or any other motherboards that will come out this year. As a result, if you just recently built a PC or are planning to build a PC with Ryzen 2 or the later Canon Lake or Ice Lake or whatever is coming out from Intel later this year, well then you're out of luck because it won't really support DDR5 RAM and so there's no point in you guys waiting. If you're building a Ryzen system, then I guess it is possible because Ryzen is much more backwards compatible. So technically you can buy a next generation motherboard from next year and still use it with the Ryzen CPU that you have right now and then also upgrade DDR5 RAM. 
but I really don't think that's worth the hassle. As for Intel, you can't even do that probably, so that's out of the question. The extra speed that DDR5 RAM will provide is simply not worth all the hassle and the extra money that it would require to just upgrade your motherboard for Ryzen, and there's also no point in wasting perfectly good hardware. So the only reason you would consider waiting for DDR5 RAM is if you have a computer right now that is at its end of its life cycle and you're planning on upgrading it very soon. But even then, it may not be worth waiting for DDR5 RAM considering how much time there still is. So here's the gist of it. Don't wait for DDR5 RAM unless you're planning on building a computer in the imminent future. It's really as simple as that. Current generation motherboards simply won't support it, and it doesn't make sense to just replace your motherboard for DDR5 RAM. So, unless you're planning on building a computer next year, then just don't wait for it. So, overall, DDR5 RAM is going to be much faster than DDR4 RAM and provide great performance, but for the vast majority of people, there's no point in waiting because of how long there still is before it'll be implemented in the mainstream platform. So, how do you guys feel about DDR5 RAM? Do you think that it'll be super fast or do you think that it won't make that much of a difference? Make sure to comment down below because I do read all my comments and I'm curious as to what you guys think so make sure to post your thoughts. Also, if you guys like this video then make sure to drop a like and hit that subscribe button if you guys would like to see more videos just like this every single day. But until next time, bye.